They make life-saving decisions daily, but are often unsung heroes. Tonight, Denver 7 anchor Andrew Heo introduces us to two Denver paramedics who are being honored for their work. My name is Laura Game. I've been a paramedic now for six months-ish. And I'm Julia. Um, I became a paramedic in 2010. Julia and Laura know their way around the streets of Denver as paramedics, just not together. This was our one and only shift together. Yeah, our first day. And it was eventful. It was. <laughs> it was very eventful. It was January 6th, a typical call to an apartment building they've been to before. A woman in her 20s complaining of abdominal pain, yet something seemed off. When I was trying to talk to her and figure out the story, it just nothing seemed to make sense. And the answers that she was giving us was very one worded. The dynamic between her and the man on scene uh, really kind of gave me you know, the hairs on the back of my neck stood up. There were just too many red flags. He was answering questions for her. He didn't want her to go with the paramedics. And then when they asked the woman what drug she was taking. She had stated that she was taking one medication that he was giving to her every day. This is where their specialty training kicked in. Training that goes beyond a medical emergency. From paramedics to poison center workers to front desk employees, knowing the signs of human trafficking is now routine for hundreds of Denver Health employees. I had some Somebody one time called me and say, well, you're in Denver. So obviously it happens there, but it doesn't happen in these other spots. And it's like, oh, no, 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 it happens everywhere. Michelle Metz does the training for Denver Health employees. She's a forensic nurse examiner. I'm not here to judge. People get put in situations where they don't have any choices. In this private room, she gently asks questions. What are you being taken advantage of? What do they expect from you? Where do you live? Who do you live with? Those questions. And just like Julia and Laura experienced, the answers don't always come so easily. And these first responders don't always know the outcome. At least they know with their sex trafficking training, they're keeping a watchful eye. That could save a life. And that is worthy of an award. I think it's, it's, it's awesome that this is being recognized and that she has gotten the care that she deserves. Everyone thinks EMS is guts and glory and driving fast. Um, but a huge part of it is social work um, and compassion for our patients. Let's go save some lives. <laughs> Andrew Hio, Denver 7. Today, Laura and Julia were awarded for their efforts at the annual Paramedics Award celebrations. 13 awards were handed out and money was raised to support mental and physical health for Denver Health's paramedics. The event also was emceed by our own morning anchor, Nicole Brady.